Grand Rising Kings and Queens. Welcome if you're new and welcome back my royal family to my DIY vlog video and today 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 I'll be showing you how to DIY a glam mirror vanity. Now you guys if all of that sound interesting make sure you keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel okay you guys here is my home decor vanity and you guys we're going to just dress this thing up tt had an idea because she wanted mirrors on it so we're going to make her happy and we're going to mirror her vanity now, as I have the vase here, you guys, we're going to trim out all of the edges, the sides, the shelves, and everything. We're going to totally glam this up. And these mirror decals here came, came from KG. You guys, I'm going to put that link somewhere on the screen, that company's name. And also, the mirror tile I'll be using would be from bbcraft.com. So, make sure you do check out those links so you can snag you some fabulous product. So what I'm doing is, you guys, I'm just measuring up the pieces. Now, I am using all self-adhesive pieces for this uh, decor vanity, you guys. So with that being said, just follow me along. Now, this is going to be a pretty simple and easy um, fix. I will tell you guys, um, as you can see here, I'm using my hands. If you are not familiar with the use of mirror mosaic tiles please make sure you have something to cover your hands so that you don't cut it so we're going to just keep on adding on the mirrors we're cutting it we're making sure that it's uh cut just perfectly so we can have a professional look when we finish but you guys i'm going to include all of the links for the items that i am using down in the description along with discount codes please make sure you always talk to me down in that description also check that description for all affiliate links and discount codes so that the items that i do use you can get for a cheaper price they do give you a discount it don't cost you more i just receive a slight commission if you do all right you guys now with that being said we're just trimming up the edges now just follow your girl along as we make this vanity shelf go from drab to fab And you guys never mind me shaking you up so <laughs> I had the camera positioned on the top of the shelf so I can get a better angle to film. So therefore you will see a couple times that I shake you up quite a bit. But as you can see here I'm just adding those mirror tiles on and as you can see I'm completely lining up every single thing. I will tell you to you guys. Uh, always do a dry fit first now here i have that one side complete i'm going to go back and show you how i actually achieve this look and i'm just pulling that trim off and those are those mirror decals you guys isn't that gorgeous now it looks milky but it's because it has a film over it that you have to pull the film off and we're going to just get all of that film pulled off i'm starting with the smaller pieces and as you can see, once we pull that film off, that shelf came to life. And let me tell you guys, TT loves it, loved it, loved it. This was originally a piece that we was fin to get rid of, but she wanted to keep it so she can put certain things on it. But she also wanted to put the mirrors on it as well. Some of this you didn't see. I was letting her help me. Uh, actually diy this mirror vanity shelf
Now, don't come for me for those dust webs being under the bottom of the shelf, you guys. But I did trim out the bottom, and I'm coming back, adding that other lip trim on there as well. That's what you see me doing here. We did do this for the top and the bottom, and I'm just securing it to give it a close, tight fit. Then we're adding in those decals, you guys. And as you can see, it's pre-cut, but always, you know, here is always measure once, measure twice, measure three times to make sure you have your pieces accurate. And I will tell you with these cut mirror tiles, if you're going to line them up, you have to look at the design to make sure, as you saw I done here, to make sure they're lined up correctly. Now I'm going back adding that other mirror tile in and we're going to just secure that down. Once again, dry fit all of your pieces. Then when you get ready to add them on, it goes on very, very smoothly. And now that I have that mirror trim on, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add my pieces back in. And I'm going to go ahead and pull, as you can see, the tape off the back and uh, put that adhesiveness down, as you can see here. And all of them pops out, you guys. I will tell you, um, the, the trim around this mirror will make an amazing, amazing uh decoration on something as well the only issue that i had with it that it was it's actually it's very very thin and it will work but it's just that one bottom portion as you can see here that one side always broke off but the trim itself will make a major decor uh, decoration and i did reach back out to the company and let them know that as well but we're going to just layer all of our pieces in you guys and once we get all of those pieces in, we're going to adhere them down and we're going to just follow this through. And again, it's a repeat. I will tell you guys, when you're messing with this adhesive backing on anything, and especially these cut mirror designs here, by the time you finish, your fingers will be sore. So keep that in mind when you're going to be doing a project that's requiring you to do a lot of peeling and pulling. And if you're still watching and you're not a family member of the Glam Queen DIY, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Tap that bell twice. It turns blue and you'll know every time that I am uploading. Currently, we upload on Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. I will tell you you guys we do have our home decor channel and that home decor channel name has switched over to her home. Now on her home you're going to be getting content four or five days a week but we're going to change out the content for the DIY channel you guys. We're going to give you content uh, two days a week and uh, we're going to probably be doing content, you guys, on Fridays and Sundays, or either Tuesdays and Fridays. It's either going to be Friday and Sunday, either Tuesday and Friday. We're going to let you know, but we're going to switch that out, and we are going to, because we're, when we're transitioning, you guys. And like I said, we're going to take you all along that journey. You're going to get to see the start of that journey here coming in uh, another couple weeks but we're going to give you the home decor related stuff on her home i'm going to put the link um, across the screen and it's also going to be linked down in the description box Now as we're bringing uh, this part near uh, in, you see I'm just fastening in those uh, last seven, eight pieces, you guys, so that we can complete this off. Just this portion, you guys, we're still not through with adding uh, mirror to the shelves, the top and all. Like I say, TT glammed, wanted this piece all the way glammed out. And uh, it is a piece that we're going to be letting her take home, you guys. But 
let's finish this DIY and you guys make sure you do stay tuned for all of your DIY home decor and room decor inspiration we hope to inspire you you guys to create some beautiful pieces at a fraction of the cost and also you guys make sure you use what you got to create what you love And two, using this mirror decal, it's also like putting together puzzle pieces, which is very simple because you know which pieces go where. And once again, this is that last piece we're adding in. And you guys, we're just peeling off of that trim. And as you can see, we're going to just pull it off one by one. And I'm telling you guys, this mirrored vanity i'm telling you, in person you guys this thing is extremely and i mean extremely extremely gorgeous once again tt truly loved it and like we did on the other side you guys we're going to just peel off just that uh, plastic over those mirrors and as you can see here the mirrors truly come to life once you start pulling this film off of it you guys And now we're getting ready to put that mirror tile on the top. As you can see, I'm just dry fitting it to see which direction I do want to lay the tile in. And we're just going to quickly add it in, you guys. Now, I will be using the mirrored sheets. Not the mosaic tile, you guys, but the mirrored sheet for the shelving, you guys. So I did change that up as opposed to using all mirrored tiles for this uh, vanity. I will tell you, my package of tiles from BB Craft, it has four sheets in it. I will tell you, you guys, I've already used two of the packets just doing this vanity here. But... Make sure you do check BB Craft out. And if you would like to partner with BB Craft, I will also include that information down in the description. To partner with BB Craft, you guys, you must have at least 100 followers, you guys. And they'll send you some product over in exchange for four uh, videos. Now, doesn't that look gorgeous? Now, here's that top portion finish. And once again, we're going to do those shelves with the mirrored paper and this is that completed shelf you guys we were filming and I, we didn't realize that our camera cut off but you guys this is that mirrored paper well, look at it you guys isn't she gorgeous You've already saw the styling with the guest room tour and my home tour. If you haven't ch checked out that home tour video, you guys, please make sure you do check it out. Never mind the cords there on the side. But, you guys, this shelf looks amazing. And as you can see here on the side, we have the same look there. And we also have that same gorgeous look here. This TT bag. But, doesn't that look amazing? I will tell you too, make sure you come back. Uh, TT's room is on the verge of a transformation. And it is going to be a full transformation, you guys. We're going to give her just what she wants in this uh, space. <laughs> 